This is a Zoe. Zoe is a one and a half year old uh, Shih Tzu mix? Shih Tzu, just Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu, okay. And so uh, we're in Nebraska during the winter time. The guardian shovels off this and then the path down there, she creates an area in the yard, but Zoe doesn't want to go down there. And now after practicing that all winter long, now Zoe just kind of sometimes comes, sits up right up here and looks down. Now I put something down there as an enticement. We're gonna talk about that in a sec. So she just comes and looks here and, the, and she doesn't like to go. Uh, we also have skunks. And so the guardian uh, had an encounter. So now she's she got in a habit of taking Zoe out. And now Zoe's like, if you don't go down there with me, I'm not going down there. So she just hangs out on the deck. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can teach your dog to go down stairs off a deck into the actual yard. Now, first of all, we need to come up with a command word that means to go into the yard. And so I like using funny command words because dogs are the only animal on the planet that can read a human facial expression. So I wanna call it like adventure or uh, voyage or holiday or vacation or something that's gonna make you giggle. Is there a place that you've always wanted to go on vacation and you've never gone to or a place that you like to go on vacation that you have really good memories of? Estes Park. Estes, okay. Uh, do you wanna call it Estes or do you, yes. would you prefer uh, like uh, adventure or something like that? Estes. Estes, okay. So what we're gonna do is anytime you're giving your dog a treat, you wanna pop the treat in the dog's mouth or say the command word after the treat goes in the mouth. When the treat's in the mouth, it kind of is activating the dog's pleasure receptors. And they, they're gonna, uh, they hear at the same time, it's kind of gonna resonate with them. Kind of like if you and your significant other kissed for the first time and you heard a specific song. The rest of your life, you hear that song, it kind of resonates with you. Same sort of thing for the dog with the treats. Zoe, Zoe, come here. Zoe, come. Now, Zoe is also a little bit obstinate. She doesn't always like to come. Zoe, come here. Come on, Zoe. So I'm gonna to try to entice her to come down the stairs. At the bottom of the stairs, I have left a trail, or not a trail, but a plethora of treats. We call this a jackpot when there's a large number of rewards. We usually do this for the first time a dog does something or to really get them engaged or liking something, or if they do something, it's very difficult. Zoe, come on. If you take a couple steps forward, I think she'll come with us. Yeah, go ahead and come up here. Take your steps. Zoe, there we go. All right, so Zoe's coming out, and I'm going to have you go ahead and pull the tip, tilt the camera down to Zoe. Zoe! Zoe, come here. So I'm going to put a treat halfway down the stairs. Zoe! Zoe! Come here. Zoe! They say in Hollywood you don't want to work with dogs or children. <laughs> Zoe! Zoe! All right, so I'm going to go get her. And just go ahead, you just came out filming me and Zoe. Oh, there we go. Now you're gonna go downstairs? There we go. So there's a pile of treats right there. She's unaware of them. And just stay right up there. Uh -huh. Zoe. Good girl, Zoe! Yeah! Come here, Zoe! Good girl! Look at all these treats! Look at these treats right there. Get the treat. All right, well, I'm gonna pantomime because Zoe is, uh, go ahead and come up to me. Zoe's a little bit particular about treats. And I think that uh, Zoe has learned by not giving her guardian what she wants, she retains a little leverage in the situation. So we're gonna, go talk, we're gonna talk about that off camera, but I'm just gonna describe what's going, what you wanna do for this. So for some dogs like Zoe who just, she went down and she couldn't see them right away. I don't think her eyes uh, picked up the, uh, the treats. So you might wanna make a trail of treats from your door. So as soon as she opens the door, I come out and I see a treat right there. And then I, I finish eating the treat and I look up and like three feet ahead, there's another treat. And she goes to that one and she sees another treat. And it leads all the way to the steps and then a trail down the steps and then put a pile of treats like this. Now the concrete makes it a little bit harder to see and dog's eyes are not very good for detail. So you might get like a little uh, white paper towel that you make wet so it sticks down and doesn't get uh, caught in the breeze. Uh, and so that way she can see the treats a little bit easier. So when every time she licks up one of these treats, I want you to say the word Estes or whatever the word is that you mean to go into the yard. So after a while, when Zoe comes outside, she's like, there's a trail of treats. Now, at first we have the treats about three feet apart and, and there's one right outside the door when she comes outside. After a while, we want her to maybe have to walk a foot before she gets the first treat. Maybe now the treats are three and a half feet apart or four feet apart. We gradually keep on increasing the distance and then eventually instead of having a treat on every step, maybe it's on every other step. And gradually we take have less and less treats on the path, but right down here at the bottom, there's always like 
at least two or three treats. And we're gonna only do this when we're at home, so every time she's here, we can say the word Estes. So uh, for a lot of dogs, they wanna be with us all the time, and we we're gonna talk about some stuff off camera about that, but um, we need the dog to learn that going down here is desirable, and if you do this enough, you're only gonna say Estes when she licks up the treats that are down here. The ones that she gets in the trailer are just motivation to get her to come down here. And uh, the idea is when we say Estes for here, eventually you can say Estes, and she runs out and she'll run all the way down here expecting, because running down here means come here and get treats, and then you hear the word Estes. And after a while, she'll just automatically, every time you open the door, even without the line and the trail of treats, she'll just run down the bottom to see, is there another treat right there? <laughs> just like little kids do Christmas day, Christmas morning, they wake up at five in the morning and they race downstairs to see what Santa Claus left them because there's, they've been conditioned that something good, a reward, or in this case, a reinforcer is there. So uh, I'd like you to do this uh, probably like maybe two or three times a day the first day. Um, and again, when you get to the bottom, probably towards the end of that first day's practice session, you should already start to be increasing the length of the treats and you should see enthusiasm for the dog. Now, if the dog kind of gets a treat and then turns around and goes back in, that makes the treats closer together. So we need to spike the punch, so to speak, at first to get the dog motivated to do it. And once the dog is started, it kind of catches on to what's going on, that's when we start uh, providing less treats and having more distance between the treats so the dog has to work a little bit harder and a little bit harder but just like us anything else we want to teach them as easy as make it as easy as possible I just walk out there's a treat there's another treat there's another treat best day ever and then oh I have to take two steps to get the treat okay well it's still a treat there and then four steps and so on and eventually they'll, she'll just run all the way down here to get the treats now that's the this is the first stage and you're gonna practice this like I said I like you to see you practice about three three or more times a day gradually uh, increase the distance between the treats. Eventually what I'd like you to do is wait for her to come down here and instead of having treats, you come out with her or you can come out and stand right there. When she comes down here, you throw the treat or come down here and give her the treat after she does it and we say the word Estes. At first we're leaving them as a lure to motivate her to do it, but once she knows it, then we're gonna stop making, giving her the baby steps and only pay her for the full job, which is to come all the way down here to the bottom of the steps. And my hope is that, well, I'm already here, I've got to pee, the water, the grass is only two, two inches away or a foot away, I can go over here, I'll squat, and then I'll come back upstairs. Uh, now the guardian was giving her, uh, is giving her a treat for pottying and somebody was telling her that might not be the best thing to do. Giving your dog a treat after potties is always a good thing, um, unless you're doing it out of context. So when the dog starts to pee or poop, I would say the command word, potty or whatever it is, when she gets done, then I uh, go over and I pop the treat in the dog's mouth and then I would say the potty a second time. First time associates the word with the action, second time associates the reward with the command word, and after a while they all three of those things become synonymous and then you say business and she goes, yes, you know that means she wants to go downstairs and now we've gotten her into a habit of coming down to the bottom of the stairs and if, after a while we probably shouldn't even have to say the word Estes, but if you need to, you can give her a prompt in Estes and for some maintenance, you might show her you have a treat and throw it on uh, from up there down here, she'll run down and chase it. All right, well, these are some tips and tricks you can use if you have a dog that doesn't like to go into the yard off of the deck.